Hello my Bradley, hope you are doing well as always. So in my last video, we looked at some R&B, Jimi Hendrix type rhythm chords. Nice little chord progression we had there. And this week I thought I would share some neo soul type chords. These are cool little progression for you. Um, more importantly, it's so important to know chords. You can't know enough chords. And here we've got about, you know, five or six nice little chords going on in his progression. And we're gonna be using a nice bit of diminished chords going on as well. Uh, diminished chords are great for using as passing chords, passing tones. Um, cheeky little plug, I've got a great lesson on my website, mikebradleymusic.com, uh, which is solely focused on diminished chords. So if you don't know anything about diminished chords and wanna learn some new stuff, do check out uh, some the video lesson on my website amongst other video lessons on there which you could not get anywhere. What we're gonna do, we go for a little close up on this and uh, let's see how we get on. Right, close up time. So, some lovely little chords going on here. We're in the key of B flat, which is a little bit different, uh, especially if you're used to just playing in E or A minor or something like that. Um, so, um, yeah, something to get, you, get, your, get the old brain working a little bit. So we're going to start off on this chord, which is basically a, a B flat minor seven. So as you hopefully are noticing, I'm using my thumb. So I'm barring on the top four strings and my thumbs on there. If you wanted, you could bar on the sixth fret and otherwise we're putting our little finger on this C note on the eighth fret. And then we'd be taking it off, all right? But I'm kind of doing that just because I'm used to doing that for. that kind of stuff, all right? So do what feels comfortable, but I do encourage getting used to using the thumb. It's a, it's a cool extra thing to do. If you're a classical guitar player, your teacher will slap your wrist for doing so. But we're not playing classical here. So, we've got that new idea. Also as well, I just realized I haven't got a pick. You could do with a pick if you want. Um, I'm kind of doing like the piano style idea here. So have a look at the, the fingers and rewind it and whatnot. Um, and you'll get an idea um, of what's going on. So I'm kind of uh, plucking the thumb and then fourth, uh, my first finger, second, third and little and the fourth, third and second and first strings. So plucking them all at the same time. And then taking my little finger off and then playing those top four strings and then kind of doing a little percussive sound on the strings. And now we're getting our first diminished chord. So you can kind of look at this as many different things. I'm kind of seeing it as a, a diminished seventh chord. Um, do check out, like I said, my website uh, where I go in depth in diminished chords and diminished sevenths and minor seven flat five, all the diminished chords, all right? Uh, because it's a, it's a big old topic. But here, if you've never done this shape before, I'm going from the sixth fret on the, so I beg your pardon, the eighth fret on the fifth string, going eight, nine, seven, nine. And the cool thing with diminished chords is that you can take the same shape and move it up three frets, a minor third. So that's exactly what I'm doing here, but downwards. So picking the strings individually and then going down three frets and you get that. So. Nice little, again, very jazzy, you know, uh, people call it the Neo Soul or Soul or R&B or whatever you want to call it, whatever label you want to pull it as. I see it always coming from jazz, really. It's just the feel you put on it. If I went... Now I'm a bit more jazzy with reverb. <laughs> okay, so... Same thing going on there. And then I'm, what we gotta do here, uh, we're gonna go to this chord, which is an E flat minor nine chord. Okay, um, which is uh, from the fifth string, six, four, six, six. 
which is very similar from the diminished chord what we're doing here. I'm just going to drop my third finger down, my first finger up, and my second finger across. So then we're playing this minor nine chord. So this is an, a minor nine shape. So again, new chord, wherever you move it, you've got this minor nine shape, right? And then we're going to move my little finger, well, you're going to move your little finger forward a fret to the seventh fret, and that becomes now E flat minus seven, another version of playing a minor seven shape. You probably know that. But now this is another voicing for it, all right? And then take that two frets forward, and you've got F minor seven. And now with a chord, so we've got And I'll just do a little on the F there, alright? So. And there we have it. Really cool, like I say. Take these chords, change them around, even if you're just picking up a couple of new ideas there with the minor nine, for example. You know, instead of playing, and I say you've got a progression going D minor, B flat, G minor, you could do D minor nine. B flat major seven, G minor seven, D minor nine as opposed to, you know, your regular kind of sound, so. Um, There you go, you've got two progressions there in one video. So one more time. So you've got a sound with a pick. as well get that a little bit of palm muting and whatnot on it so um yeah there's my little neo soul chord progression for you there you have it so cool little chord progression for you more importantly hopefully some new chords for you as well and it works great fingers and also i quite liked it uh, it was kind of a little bit of improv in front of the camera going on there stuff so a lot of fun so and it sounds great with a clean tone I didn't say at the beginning but gear I was using I've got my my old telly going into a Fender Supersonic going into the two notes Captor X uh, and I've got a bit of reverb coming on from the new neighbor Immerse uh, all links in the description box if you want to check them out but like I said uh, diminished chords are very very cool do check out my website, mikebradleymusic.com, where you can check out some uh, a cool video on the diminished chords, uh, as well as many other things. And you can pick up t-shirts, you can pick up CDs. I still get messages from people saying, I got one literally this morning. It was very sweet of him. He said, oh, mate, you should you should sing and release some songs. So I, I do. So, um, you know, if you're on Spotify and you want to save my stuff, just put Mike Bradley in Spotify and you'll find my two EPs and um, hopefully more to come as time goes on. Anyway, I've been Mike Bradley, you've been you. Let me know how you get on with this in the comment section below. Love to hear it, love reading all your comments. So thanks for your love and support. Make sure you give the video a nice little like, a little thumbs up, it really helps. And I'll see you in the next video. I've been Mike Bradley, you've been you. I hope you're very well. <laughs> and um, there's a lot of meaning in that. I hope you're very well, I really do. And I'll see you soon, Mike Bradley. 
very much signing out. Bye.